So this is the Storm Model uh, NX6 cylinder boring machine, the associated manual. We'll take you through each of the pages so you can see the detail that's here. Next page. So the first page just talks about care of the machine, how to prep your cylinder block. Next page. Then it goes into specifics on how to center the boring machine on top of your cylinder bar, um, excuse me, on top of your um, engine cylinder, how to clamp it. Next page. It goes into details around cutting or spindle speeds as well as feed control. The important note here is the manual makes it very clear that the machine motor is not to be running when you change gears. The machine needs to be off so that you don't damage the gears. You can see there's details about how, how to center the cutting to the bore of the cylinder. It talks about sending the micrometer. There are very specific micrometers that come with this kit. We'll show you those at a later date. And then it goes into detail instructions on how to sharpen the cutter blades to make sure that you get a smooth bore. And there's a troubleshooting about what happens when you don't sharpen them correctly. It goes in detail as to how to avoid that. Uh, in more specifics in terms of the methodology for sharpening and the tools that you need to use that are part of the accessory kit, which we will show you. This particular page talks just about the bearings and how to care for the bearings. The next page talks specifics around the back gear. And again, like the other gears, it, the manual states that you should not have the motor running when you switch the back gear. This tells you how to operate the uh, specific micrometers that come with the kit. There's two of them, and we'll show you those later. And then there's a detailed parts list for all the parts that go into this uh, NX-6 boring machine. And uh, what's really nice is it has an exploded view of all the elements. Next page. This was very instrumental to us when we completely disassembled the machine, uh, checked all the items, and then obviously for reassembling it back. All of the gears were in very good shape, as well as the bearings. It looked like the item had not seen much use at all. Further exploded view of the various elements of the item. As you can see, it's quite detailed. Next page. And as I said earlier, all of the gears and bearings looked in very nice shape. As we don't think the item has seen much use at all. Okay. Now we're going to come into specifics and show you each of these assemblies. <coughs> so this is the manual that talks through an accessory kit. We're going to take you through each of the items that are associated here. So obviously it comes with its own cabinet, which is real nice for keeping it together. There's the two unique micrometers that are unique to this uh, kit for measuring, as well as the associated tools for putting the cutter blades, cutter holders in and out of the cutter head. You then see uh, two sets of cutter heads. There's a finish set and a fine set, and they're for short and long, so depending upon the pour that you're doing. The cutter heads, we have some spare ones there, cutter bits. And then there's the two um, fixtures for sharpening the cutter bits. We have the large clamp. And then next to that you see there's two sets of, there's really three sets of centering jaws. One set is already in the machine. And you can see there's a small, medium, and large, depending upon the size bore that you're going to be doing on your cylinder block. And then the holding fixtures, um, and then uh, the necessary Allen wrenches, etc. The only thing that is missing in this kit is what they call the small anchor. We do not have that, but we do have the large one. There's nothing unique about that small anchor. You could uh, make one if you needed it. 
So this is a continuation of the demonstration of the Storm Vulcan model NX6 cylinder boring machine. And as you can see, uh, the unit, this is the back gear, and this is the three speeds. We'll now do a demonstration going through the speeds and feeds. And again, the motor has to be off when you change gears. We'll now turn it on. And so you can see how the cutter head is moving relatively slow RPM. Nice and smooth. We'll now demonstrate the next gear by turning it off. Wait until it fully stops. We'll then engage. Oh. Go to the, the middle gear. Then we manually rotate the drive shaft to make sure that it's in. We'll now turn it on. And you can see how the cover head is now running at a higher RPM. We'll now go to the third speed, waiting for the unit to stop, and then manually rotating it to make sure that it's engaged. We'll now turn it on, and you can see how the cutter head is now operating at a higher RPM. We'll now turn that off, and we'll now uh, change the back gear. And again, you got to make sure that the engine is off. The motor's off before you um, uh, select the gears. We'll turn it on. Then you can see this is a much higher RPM. You can see the cutter head is a much higher RPM. So that's the unit. Uh, as we've said, we took it all apart, cleaned it up, inspected it. All the gears were in very good condition. As we said, the item doesn't look like it had much use at all. Very large um, machine here for cylinders. The specifications that I was able to find suggested that it was upwards of 7.7 uh, .7 inches. And so if you look at the back, um, and we look at the clearance that's associated with the uh, casting, the boring head casting, you can see it's upwards of 7.7 uh, .7 inches. And this is the Storm Vulcan model NX6 nameplate is difficult to read because it's relatively old. Um, any questions, uh, drop us a message through eBay and we'll answer it. Thank you. So when, when you go to set the unit up, there's the centering draws. They call them you know, for centering the machine to the cylinder. That's the associated wheel for ex, um, engaging and disengaging. And you can see how the jaws are moving in and out depending upon how much you turn the wheel. So they use those for centering the boring machine to the cylinder. And as we said, there's three sets of jaws, small, medium, and large. And you pick the set for the size that you're looking to bore. We're now going to demonstrate the engagement and disengagement of the feed. The feed mechanism right now is in the disengaged. We'll turn the machine. We're now going to demonstrate the engagement and disengagement of the feed mechanism. Um, right now, the feed mechanism is engaged. We'll turn the machine on and show how the feed is working. And if you look, you see very, very slowly how uh, the handle is moving up. So the feed is going down. We'll now stop it. And we'll come over and disengage the feed mechanism. Make sure that it is uh, engaged or disengaged while well, things not running before we turn it on. We'll now come over and turn it on. And you can see now how the 